there, I'm Heidi and welcome to my home. I'm so excited that you are here. And if you are back, thank you so much for joining me once again. Today, we are gonna do a short series, a core series on your motor. And you may recognize it because it is from the short box series on the reformer. If you're not familiar with that, don't worry about it, but we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So let's get started. So what I want you to do is, if you have a tender tushy, I highly recommend putting a towel or a blanket down on your motor. And you are gonna go ahead and face your motor arm, slide your feet right underneath it, and then go ahead and make sure that you have a resistance of at least six pounds on your motor arm to assist you. If you wanna go lighter, more power to you, it's totally up to you. <laughs> we're gonna start by taking the hands, we're gonna reach through the straps and place the hand just underneath the D-ring. You're gonna start by sitting nice and tall. And from here, I want you to create a nice C curve, curling that pelvis under, creating a deep abdominal scoop. From there, keep that C curve, and you're gonna start to hinge back with a nice C curve of the spine. You're gonna dive it forward, shoulders over hips, and then re-stack the spine back up to that starting position. A couple more, just like that. We curl it back on the exhale. Hinging back, maintaining that nice tilt on that pelvis. Keep going, keep that curve. Come back forward, shoulders over hips and then restack the vertebrae. Let's do one more, just like that. So as you're curling, you're really trying to think of maintaining that curvature, not allowing that spine to extend at any point here. Hold it, dive it back forward, shoulders over hips, and now restack the spine. Very nice. Now, take a moment here. You're gonna take the straps and just slide them up into your, I call it like the elbow pit or the elbow crease here. And you're gonna take the hands, interlock the fingertips right behind the head. So while we're here, we're gonna think of cinching the ribs together. My feet are still hooked under that arm. From here, lengthening through the top of the head, I'm gonna start to hinge back with a flat back, breathing in, lifting my heart towards the sky. And then as I exhale, I return back to that starting position. So I'm really thinking of really lifting out of my sits bones and imagining my spine is growing nice and tall as I hinge back. No collapsing into that sternum. Hold it, you should feel shaky down there. And then coming back up to that starting position. So we're really working those postural muscles, yeah, and those corset muscles. Two more, just like that. Hinging back, inhale, lengthening through the top of the head. And then exhale, we come back up to the top. One more, just like that. Again, growing taller as we lift out of the sits bones, hinging back, abs and back working together. And then exhale, we come back up to the top. Beautiful, hold that there. Whew. Now, we're gonna add on to this, yes? Let's add a little spiral to the torso. You're gonna inhale or rotate to one side. Hold it, keeping the hips square. We are going to hinge back with that same inhale. So I'm taking my time cueing it. Exhale to come up, unwind to center. So it's a long inhale there. Let's alternate sides. So we grow tall as we spiral the torso. Inhale, hinging back, long inhale. And exhale, we come up, we unwind to center. Again, we spiral, growing tall, inhale, lift, hinging back here, and exhale up, come back to center. Last time here, we rotate, we hinge it back, hold it, coming back up, come back to center. Very nice, let's add on even more. Just go with me, we're gonna spiral. Same work here, hinging back. Now with your exhale, you're gonna 
spiral through the space, sternum to the sky. You come to the other side, you hinge up, and you unwind. Let's alternate that. So rotating, hinging back. We rotate through the space, kind of like a rotisserie chicken through the space, coming up. We come back to center. One more time, each side we spiral, growing tall, hinging back, inhale. Exhale, we spiral, we come up and we unwind. Last one here, rotate, hinging back, spiraling across that center body, back to center, we unwind, Woo! relax there, very nice. Okay, hold up. Did you know that you could actually be doing a motor workout live stream with me every week? Well, you can. Shoot me an email to book your spot and I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your workout. Okay, so we're gonna finish this out with a little climb a tree action here, yes? No resistance needed. Keep your left foot hooked underneath your motor arm. And I want you to draw your right knee into your chest. Now, if you're not already, I want you to make sure you have a little bit of space behind you. I'm actually gonna move forward just a little bit here. From here, you're gonna draw the knee in, noticing how you have to already balance on that pelvis, on those sit bones here. We're gonna do a little pump here. Draw the knee into the chest three times. Pump it for three, pump it for two, on one, you're gonna hold. Walk that leg out so you have a nice hamstring stretch here. Hold it. Now, there's your tree. You're gonna walk yourself down the tree as you curl. Notice how you have to stay really centered on that motor. If it's available to you, you're gonna release the arms all the way back. Open up that chest. And then as you exhale, fold at the rib cage. Climb yourself up that leg scooping it out all the way. You're gonna feel a little uneven, that's okay. Finding your posture at the top. Hug it in, let's do that again. Pulse it for three, for two, for one. You're gonna send that leg out in front of you. Hips are square here, you're gonna walk it down that leg, articulating that spine bone by bone on that motor body, releasing the arms back. Not an inch and forward, walking yourself back up that leg, getting a nice hamstring stretch in the meantime, lifting that heart and hug it in. Nice, let's do the other side here. Sometimes two isn't enough. I could have probably done about three more. So we're gonna be here, find it, pulse it out for three, for two, for one, walk it out into that hamstring stretch, hold it. We're gonna walk it back. As you roll down, that leg's gonna come with you. Woo, woo, I almost lost it there. I'm not gonna edit it out. I'm gonna stay real, friends. We're gonna circle the arms around. Nod the chin, woo, this side's hard to balance. Here we go, walking it up. One, two, three, find it. Wow, the balance is totally unreal on this side. And we're gonna pulse it again for three, for two. Find that sitting posture. One, send that leg out nice and long. Walk it back. Ooh, I am pushing my foot underneath that motor arm to help me stabilize. Ooh, that was better. Releasing it back. Take your time, right? Here we go, walking it back up. Ooh, here we go. Finding it, turning on that inner thigh, finding that last moment's posture, hug the knee in, and rest. Ah, there you have it, a little bit of short box series on your motor. Comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks again for joining me today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you liked this video. Give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget, subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video drops. And in the meantime, come join me on Instagram. I hope to see you soon. <laughs>